The following is an instructional video designed to provide new soldiers of the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, with an example of how to properly execute dressing in the ceremonial certification testing process. All candidates are required to test this portion. Task. Conduct a dressing test for ceremonial certification. Condition. Given a candidate in ceremonial uniform with appropriate equipment, a ceremonially certified sponsor on a marked parade field. Candidate will begin the march at a marked time. Candidate will be tested as the platoon leader or platoon sergeant for the first element. Grader will call commands for other elements. Standard. The candidate must score a minimum of 80%, 15 out of 18, to receive a go. If a candidate scores below 80%, he or she will receive a no-go and have to retest at a later date. Each minor performance measure will be tested three times. To receive a go for a minor performance measure, the candidate must perform it correctly two of three times. The candidate must pass five of five major performance measures on all tests. Candidates that fail a major performance measure will immediately receive a no-go and have to retest at a later date. All performance measures must be conducted in accordance with TC 3-21.5, January 2012, and TOG Sword and Saber Certification Handbook. This is the grade sheet that will be used to assess each candidate's performance. The five major performance measures are 1. Uniform 2. Ceremonial Composure 3. Previously Tested Events 4. Proper Step Count 5. Proper Cadence While Marching, 80 to 90 beats per minute the minor performance measures will be discussed throughout the remainder of the video. The candidate will be standing on a given mark with their sword or saber drawn in the carry position and their left side facing the formation. When the grader is ready, the grader will tell the candidate to pick up a mark time. The entire sequence will be run three consecutive times. For the purposes of this video, it will be shown only once. Marks are points on the ground in which a candidate must execute a movement at or halt at in order to be in the right place at the right time. There are four marks that make up the dressing. 1. The starting mark, which is centered in front of the formation where the platoon leader or platoon sergeant usually stands. The candidate will finish this task behind this mark, closer to the formation in preparation for the exchange. Two. The second mark is where the 1-1 one -one man stands, otherwise noted as the first squad leader. 3. The second mark is where the 2-1 man stands, otherwise noted as the second squad leader. 4. The second mark is where the 3-1 man stands, otherwise noted as the third squad leader. Candidate, execute mark time march. Stand by for seven count cut. Boom, 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 boom. Upon completing the seven count cut, the candidate will immediately execute a left face. Boom, stick tap. Once the grader says stick tap, the candidate will call order arms, immediately followed by right face. Order arms, right face. Right face, order arms, left face, order, fire lock, and one, and two, and three. At close interval. Unlike the voice test where standby is mouthed, the candidate will quietly say standby right. out loud for this At test. Close interval, dress right, standby dress. At close interval, dress right, standby dress. Take care to the right. Stand by dress. Once the grader says dress, the candidate steps off with their left foot at a 45 degree angle to their left with full arm swing. The candidate takes four steps before pinning their arms and pivoting with their left foot and turning roughly another 45 degrees back to the right. The candidate takes another four steps beginning on their right foot up to the left side of the formation with arms pinned, ensuring they avoid the squad leader's marks. The candidate closes their feet to the position of attention with their right foot on the fifth count before executing a right face. Immediately after executing the right face, 
the candidate pauses for two counts before conducting a head nod at the same tempo as their marching. Once they complete the head nod, the candidate takes a 90-degree turn to the left with their left foot and takes two steps with arms pinned, closing their feet with their left foot on the third step. The candidate executes another right face before pausing for two counts again, conducting another head nod at the same tempo as before. Once they complete the head nod, the candidate takes a 90-degree turn to the left with their left foot and takes two steps with arms pinned, closing their feet with their left foot on the third step. The candidate executes a third right face and without speaking, mouths, going home before executing a final head nod. Once the candidate completes the head nod, they step off with full arm swing and their left foot across their body, heading back in the same direction that they came from. The candidate takes five steps before executing a proper left flank and takes six more steps, closing their right foot on the seventh count. Immediately after coming to a stop, the candidate executes a left face and says, ready, front. Ready, front, ready, front, ready, front. On the last ready front, the grader will enunciate front, at which point the candidate will execute an about face and keep their tip up. Common mistakes include, one, voice commands, two, not keeping a consistent 80 to 90 beats per minute while marching, three, saying and not mouthing going home, four, improper step count. Upon completing this test, Candidates will move to exchange, which is part six of this instructional series. Order, locks, N1, N2, N3. At post interval, press, right. Press. At close interval, dress right, stand by dress. At close interval, dress right, stand by dress. Take care to the right, stand by. Drops! For officers, video 6A will explain the standard for the officer portion of the exchange. For NCOs, video 6B will explain the standard for the NCO portion of the exchange. For any questions on this event, speak with your sponsor or your ceremonies and special events team.